Hi, and thanks for joining us with another Fast Tip with Vast. Today we're just going to quickly run over how to use Mayhem and use it to randomize effects and randomize settings on static footage. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and show you here a quick example. This is simply meant to show you a proof of concept of what it can do. Now, what I've done is I've taken and I have created four keyframes across the, the uh, media here. And all that is is just moving. Well, I guess we've created the movement in and then I've created a few keyframes in here. Just hold keyframes and then I've sliced them all up and randomize their positions. And I'll show you how to do this. This works with placement effects. It works with visual effects. It works with anything on static footage that you can keyframe a change on over time. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with a new project. Just going to go ahead and click new. No, I don't want to save it. And we're going to jump into our media generators and I'm going to grab a piece of text just like I did before. Um, we'll just, you know, say randomize. -er. Um, so we've got our randomizer text in there and we see that it's, you know, obviously just nothing's really happening there. It's not very impressive. Big deal. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit uh, because I want it to be a little bit smaller on there. And for this, you can do that in the pan crop. Um, so we're going to start it by sliding it off the edge. So now we're off the edge of the screen. We're going to come over to, you know, right around three seconds here. And we're going to bring it back into the center. And now I'm going to change this one to a hold keyframe. And the next spot down. I'm going to come down maybe a second and a half or so. Let's see, that's about there. And I'm going to change the position to up in the corner. And then I'm going to just move down a little bit further, do it again, do it again. Uh, just giving it a few different random places that I'm going to want it to go and uh, be in my, my, uh, frame and then we're going to come over here to the end the last one so now you can see if i scrub through this we've got a few different positions that it jumps to using those hold keyframes uh, and the and the the content doesn't change at all so now i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to use shift q to make my selection just so i know where i'm at i'm going to go to the mayhem tool if you don't know where mayhem is you can always go to view and then it's just in your extensions bar right there and uh then what uh, we've got, it, uh, it just docks right into your interface just like any other tool inside of Vegas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take off zoom motion for this first one. I'm going to say, I want you to slice up my event using the selection that I've got. I want you to randomize those events. And I like to do it with a fixed number of frames because of something I'll show you a little bit later. But I'm going to say uh, every two frames, we're going to give this just a lot of, a lot of motion. I'm going to go ahead and hit process. I don't have my uh, video effects on or anything else like that. I just go ahead and hit process. And now when we play through, it slides in and then we see it starts jumping all over the page randomly. Now, you know, uh, this may or may not be what you want to have for an effect, but it, uh, it does show us that it randomizes everything for us on a static content image. So photos or anything like that will work very well for for this, um, you can also go ahead and say you don't like the way that this one sliced up. Now, because I used every X number of frames, so every two frames, uh, I can actually just say process again. And what it's going to do is it's going to slice on the already sliced spot. So it's going to say here I need to make a slice and here I need to make a slice. But because we've already got a slice there, Everything is going to be the same length and we're actually going to just basically reshuffle all of the information inside there. Um, and so now it uh, will shuffle differently and it'll, it'll be a, a little bit different uh, randomization. And you can just do that until you find something that you like. Similar to, uh, you know, particle programs or things like that where you have a seed thing that kind of operates in that same way. So um, that's one way to do it. Now say, let's go ahead and, and do a new... Uh, a new project again, say no, and uh, no, I need to go to media generators, grab some text here, and um, have my text on here again. This will just be fine for sample text, and jump back into Mayhem. Now this time, um, I'm going to go ahead and add an effect. And let's just slide on down here to something everybody's got. 
uh, let's look, color corrector, that'll do the trick, color corrector secondary. And now I'm going to just uh, add some animation on it. So we will make our, our first keyframe here and then come down a little ways and create a new keyframe, maybe make it blue um, background, then come down a little bit further, make it some kind of reddishy yellowy thing, and, uh, and maybe you know, greenish, greenish something, -y, you know. Uh, anyway, and so now, I've got, you know, shifting colors across my whole, my whole uh, bunch of text. And let's put one at the end there just so that it, it uh, continues to change and we can just put that back to zero. Um, so now we've got shifting colors all across the whole image. It's, this is going to be tough to look at people, so uh, just fair warning. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and hit Shift Q, make my selection. I'm going to jump into Mayhem. I'm going to leave the zoom motion off. I'm going to leave the effects off. I'm just going to say randomize events, slice every two frames. I'm going to hit process. And now, black, black, black. It's a crazy rainbow. All right, so now we've got a whole lot of variation just going on, so on, on, our, on our text. So, you know, we've quickly created what might take a long time with keyframes and all this kind of variation. We've now created it very quickly. Uh, so this just kind of gives you an idea of, of how to use the uh, slice event tool by itself inside the Mayhem tool to really show you how to randomize uh, not just content that you've got, but if you're using static images or, or a text or, or any kind of thing like that, you can actually randomize effects and you can randomize uh, pan crop placement on your your uh, footage and on your static images. Well, I hope this has helped you with the Mayhem tool to learn another facet of its capabilities and giving you some ideas on how to use it to create something really amazing. Please feel free to share with us on our Facebook page. Let us know how you're using our tools, what you think of our products, everything. We love to hear from our customers. Please check out our website, vast.com. We have lots of great time-saving tools, plug-in software, uh, training DVDs, everything you need to get your jobs done quickly inside of Sony Vegas Pro. Remember, learn it fast with Vast.